What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another edition of Unique Restorations. In today's video, I'm gonna be restoring this old swing set. Now this swing set we got for free off of Facebook Marketplace. Shout out to the person who gave this to us if you're watching. Now the guy that we got it from told me that he was gonna try restoring it for his grandkids, but that fell through. When we got it, it was all together, it was complete. We had to actually disassemble it and transport it to our house. A lot of the wood, especially at the bottom where the wood meets the ground, it was pretty bad and a lot of it couldn't be saved. But overall, it was complete and I see a lot of potential in this swing set. So what I'm doing here is laying everything out, trying to figure out what's what and what the next move is. So first we're gonna start by cleaning all this wood. Now this wood cleaner that I'm using, I really like it because it cleans the wood really well. It takes off any excess stain, it takes off any mold, and it just really does the job. I will leave a link in the description for it. So this really was a big job, just getting this wood cleaned. All right, so we got everything cleaned up and the next step is to start with the base. All right, so we have the main structure here, these two by fours. The bottom is all rotted out pretty bad on all sides. This bottom, this bottom piece, pretty bad. Couldn't even get the screw out of here. It's just falling apart. So we're gonna put new two by fours. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is dip the feet of the two by fours in the wood stain. And this is gonna give it maximum protection because this part, it's what's gonna be touching the ground. Now I just wanna mention, we put this thing back together with no instructions. And the only reference I have is the pictures that I took when it was up before we took it apart to transport it. And I should have taken more pictures because there were parts to where I wasn't too sure how things were supposed to go. And I wanted everything to be structurally secure and safe. So this whole swing set, or the base of the swing set anyway, is held up by four two by fours. So this is also going to be a new piece of pressure treated wood that's going to go at the base of the structure. Now 
dipping more of that footing into the seal. And again, that's just gonna make the wood last a little bit longer. I got these pavers on sale at Walmart. They were like a dollar fifty each. Now it's not that obvious here, but the ground has a little bit of a slope. It slopes down from the right down to the left. So that actually made it a lot harder to get everything level because I didn't have level ground to where I was putting everything up. So here was another tricky part. There were a lot of screws and bolts, a lot. And it was kind of hard to match everything up to where it needed to go. So this was a pretty tough project and I didn't record everything. There were some parts, especially putting up the main structure that I didn't get to record. Now this bench was also another piece that had the footing rotted, so I had to change the wood on that. Now here's another piece of new wood I had to cut. So like I said, the ground had a little bit of a slope, so I had to put those pavers there to get it more level. Now this is a frame that's going to hold up the actual swing set.
All right, so I got all the accessory pieces off. I'm gonna get those painted up. So I'm gonna use Krylon Color Max and I'm gonna use this really vibrant green. So these plastic pieces, besides being oxidated, are in pretty good shape. They just need a good cleaning and painting. So this part here was a job in itself. I have another video just on this specific piece right here. So in my opinion, this is kind of the center and the focal point of the swing set. So I really wanted it to look nice. I could have left it as is, but I wanted to take that extra step to make it pop. So I actually redid this whole clock in vinyl. This actually took me a few days to get done because I was back and forth with a lot of different things and this put the whole project at a standstill. But I think it was worth the extra effort and it came out really nice. And if you wanna see the video of how I actually did that, check it out in this link here. If it's not in the link, it's gonna be in the description. Or you can just check out my channel and watch all my other videos while you're at it. So here's the fun part, it's time to get this swing set painted. So the stain color I'm using is natural cedar. I love using this paint gun. If I would have done this project with a brush or a roller, it would have taken me hours. It took me less than half an hour to get this piece painted. The only downside is that it does waste a lot of paint. Yeah, and you might want to use a respirator.
these, but. All right, so here's the thing. The paint I was using was Valspar and the stain color was natural cedar. So when I ran out of paint, I had to go out and get another stain. So they didn't have any more of the Valspar. So I had to go with this one here. And it's the same color technically, but in a different brand. So you know how that goes. So it might be the same color name, but it's a different shade. And this is more than a different shade. It's not off. It's just a totally different color. So this is not something that I can use. So I just wanted to see how it actually looked. So I started with this door to see if it would work. I uh, looked okay so far. The reason it did look okay, which I didn't think of, is because it still had the Valspar paint in the lines. So that is what was coming out first. So I said, okay, well, this is working. So I went ahead and went to go paint the roof and that did not turn out good at all. So I had to stop what I was doing, go out to a different hardware store and find the same Valspar stain to match what I was doing. So that's a Valspar stain, but the same thing happened here. It still had the other brand paint in the lines. That's why it looks a lot lighter. All right, so here I go finishing up the project. So shout out to my son if you're watching this. Thanks for the help. He really helped me a lot on this project. He was really with me every step of the way. Couldn't have done it without him. So from here, it's just all buttoning up. I got the swing set stained, everything's up. We just need to throw the roof up. Then the roof also has this colorful liner, which is kind of like a vinyl material. Then we add all the plastics and moldings. I mean, this thing is really coming together really nice.
and there it is all done so after all said and done i probably spent about 150 dollars on materials couldn't have asked for it to come out any better these things run upwards of 1500 2000 just depends where you get it right but these things aren't cheap So there it is. I couldn't be any happier with the way it came out. If you're still with me to the end, please consider subscribing if you haven't already. Check out all my other restoration videos. Check the links in the description for all the products and tools I use on this project. Thanks for watching. Check you on the next one.